Yo, what is going on guys? It's K here bringing you guys a brand new video. In today's video, we are looking at a best class setup video on Infinite Warfare. Just before we get started in the video, let's try to shoot for 80 likes. It's not a huge goal, so 80 likes, that would be very much appreciated. Also, if you guys didn't see our video from yesterday, it was a class setup on how to rank up extremely fast. So make sure you guys do check out that video as well. It will be linked at the end of this video and in the description below. On top of that, there may be a giveaway as I stayed last week that we are still talking about. So if you guys want that giveaway to happen, then make sure you guys do like comment and subscribe on this video for that giveaway to happen but yeah let's go into the actual video itself so the class setup we are looking at is the erad submachine gun this is a very good weapon if you are starting off infinite warfare as a new player i would say this is one of the best smgs um in the game the hvr and erad are definitely two of the best smgs in my opinion in the game right now if you guys do play um pubs and just want to get higher kds and the hvr and the erad are definitely the guns that you guys do want to be using if you want to actually um just rush and play with submachine guns instead of assault rifles so just like before we are going to be starting off with the specialist first or the rig then the class setup perks tactical lethal secondary score streaks everything like that we are going to be talking about so first off um we have the rig itself now right now the rig that i am constantly using you guys saw this in yesterday's video is the merc rig with the payload as reactive armor and the trait i've actually changed it to shockwave now i've actually tried shockwave a bit and i have to say it's actually pretty good but first i'm going to start with the payload which is reactive armor this i mentioned this in yesterday's video you are basically a sponge when you actually activate reactive armor you can take multiple hits with this you can take about seven shots and you guys can just challenge and challenge constantly when you have reactive armor it's basically like you're invincible unless there's about four people shooting at you from different four different directions then you are probably gonna die but other than that I think this is definitely one of the best payloads in the game right now reactive armor is very overpowered it's a bit like it is basically kinetic armor from black ops 3 but it's much more overpowered next up the trait is actually shockwave so what this actually does is this is basically a ground slam that you guys can actually um, activate with at any time in the game so it's basically like the boost slam that you guys had in advanced warfare it's basically done it's actually pretty good because if you actually hit them directly they actually die if you hit them well like on the side behind them in front of them on the sides then you actually just stun them and next up the class itself and the attachment so the attachments that i'm actually running on this weapon are actually quick draw full grip and particle amp now quick draw in this game in every call of g you basically can't play with that quick draw it is a must on all weapons after that we have actually full grip now obviously submachine gun there is a bit of recoil on this weapon i'm not gonna lie um there is a slight bit of vertical recoil which is pretty annoying so full grip definitely helps with that you guys will see that i have no attachments or no optics on this sorry so um the reason for that is because the iron sights on this are completely fine all the iron sights on every single submachine gun as well as all the other weapons in the game are just um, sick i mean you don't need there's no need for a red dot sight or a elo sight whatever because all the iron sights in this game are just amazing next week we actually have the particle amp now this actually extends your stopping power range and the reason why this is good because it actually reduces your time to kill because obviously because it extends the stopping power range it means that you actually need one less bullet to kill someone so this is extremely well and next up we actually have nothing for our secondary tactical or lethals the reason for that is because of our perks now uh, i've been running the same perks over and over again on all my classes and that's because these perks just work extremely well because of how people just play in infinite warfare now first up in our perk one slot we have two perks dexterity and ghost now dexterity actually lets you reload faster i think this is very helpful because in this gun is just because it's a laser weapon you're just running and gunning people 24 7 because it actually prints ammo as well that's the reason why i really love this weapon because it prints ammo so there's you can if you play your cards right you will never need to pick up another gun because it will constantly just print ammo every two seconds now after that we actually have ghosts now everyone in this game is running uavs advanced uavs ping on the warfighter rig so ghost definitely helps out with that it counters uavs ping and relay so obviously that's a good thing it counters all of those things and which everyone is running right now so ghost is definitely a perk that you guys want and that comboed with dexterity you're just going to be a silent killer basically going around the whole map killing people in and out as fast as you can and no one will even know where you've gone and next up for perk 2 slot we actually have hardline now i've just been running hardline because i don't see a point in running these other perks they are not too good i have to say 
Scavenger maybe, but like I said, this gun does print ammo, so you don't really need Scavenger. The other perks in the perk 2 slot aren't really that good, so I have to say Hard Iron is definitely the best one, especially if you are going for those high-end score streaks. Now, next up for the perk 3 slot, we actually have Pinpoint now. I'm not going to lie, in the beginning, I wasn't a big fan of Pinpoint. During the beta, I actually used it, and it was actually pretty good. But now, I've been using it more and more, and I've seen why it's actually quite a good perk to run. And the reason why is because it actually outlines the enemies when you are taking damage or you're damaging someone else so basically once you're shooting someone say you're shooting someone you have two bullets left and you shoot someone twice with both those bullets and you need to reload you can actually it will actually outline them and the good thing about this is that you can actually see them through a boxes so say you shoot them behind a box you can go prone and you will actually be able to see them through the box so it's basically a wall hack which is which is extremely good the only bad thing is is that it's actually counted by hardwired but not that many people actually run hardwired on as like a perk 3 slot so you won't have much of a problem there so i would say pinpoint is definitely a very good perk to run as a perk 3 slot for this weapon now next up in terms of score streaks i've been switching up a lot i've just been trying to use all the score streaks in the game that i haven't used and i've come up with three that i think work quite well together so the ones I am talking about are the UAV, the Vulture and the Warden. Now UAV pretty self-explanatory. This is just everyone's just running UAVs nowadays because you need UAVs to get kills sometimes in this game. I mean sometimes it is pretty hard to find people but UAVs just makes it 10 times easier to just find people on the map. You can just flank people so much easier with UAV on. You guys will know when, where and when they're spawning. Next up we actually have Vulture now. In the beginning I wasn't actually a big fan of Vulture because it wasn't getting me that many kills. But I think if you use it correctly and go to the correct places then it can actually get you quite a few kills. It's only worth 700 points which isn't much. In Black Ops 3 there was the Talon which was worth I think 1100 points. So that was much more and it, got, it actually got quite a few kills. But it's just something that's there that can take out enemies that you don't have your sights on so I think this is actually really good in terms of running as a score sheet and finally we have the warden now the warden they've buffed this a lot I've seen m multiple quad feeds now since the release of the game of the warden just getting kills after kills after kills because they've buffed this and now it's basically like the wraith from black ops 3 it actually melts people now it kills you extremely fast i've died so many times from the warden now it actually gets quite annoying and i really want them to nerf it again because before it was annoying because of when i used to get any kills but now i'm constantly dying from this thing but the warden is definitely one that you guys want to be running it is 1100 as a score um streak but it is definitely worth it if you guys actually get and use it on the correct maps but anyway i hope you guys did enjoy this video this is the final class which you guys are actually looking on screen so you guys can just pause the video if you want and can copy this class out but I hope you guys did enjoy this video like i said in the start um please make sure you guys do like comment and subscribe and check out that video that we uploaded yesterday it was definitely a good one so you guys do want to make sure you guys go check out but like I said, make sure you guys do like, comment, and subscribe on this video. But as always, it's been K, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.